In this video, I wanna help you evaluate a logarithm when dealing with fractions. So when a problem like this, a lot of times students will, they'll kind of get stuck because they see the fractions and I think immediately a lot of times students just freeze up when they get fractions and they're like, I'm not gonna do this problem. I don't even wanna try attempt it. But in a problem like this, there's kind of two things that I think is really important to understand. Not only just like the fraction part, like we gotta get, be able to get it for that, but the other thing is like, we gotta understand what the logarithm is trying to represent, okay? And a lot of times what I like to do in this case, when I'm trying to understand the logarithm or for sometimes I forget and it's a test and it's like stressful, a lot of times I just like to rewrite the logarithm as an exponential equation. So all I simply need to do to do that is just go ahead and have this set equal to something. And a lot of times we can just use X just to kind of make things a little bit easier. Okay, so now I have a logarithmic equation, right? I have log base one third of 27 is equal to X. Now, when we're trying to like understand a logarithm, we need to understand like what exactly this X represents. And what this X represents is the power that we can raise one third to get to 27. So technically what we can rewrite this as is a one third raised to the X is gonna equal to a 27. Now, there's where you can might be able to get some difficulties because if you're thinking about this, you're like, all right, how am I gonna take a fraction, right? Raise it to some number and then I'm going to get an integer of 27. And hopefully at least at this point you realize, well, I'm not gonna try to like play fuzzy numbers with fractions or try to like think about this number in my head. What I wanna do is think about if I'm gonna do anything with an exponential equation, the one thing I wanna make sure I'm gonna try to do, especially if I'm not using a calculator, is I gotta get the bases to be the same. That's gonna kind of fall into our understanding of like the one-to-one -one property. And if you remember the one-to-one -one property, the one to one property basically says if you have the base of the same, right, then the powers are going to be set equal to each other. And again, like that makes sense. If I have three squared equals three to the X, then what is the only number that makes sense for X equal? It's two, right? What you can say is like, we can say 27 is raised to a power, um, but you can say one third and 27 are definitely not the same base, right? So then what we need to do is kind of think about this and say, how can we go ahead and rewrite this with the same base? And what we're gonna wanna do in this case is just go and say, all right, well, I can take three off the denominator and put it in the numerator, but therefore by using a negative power. So I can rewrite this as a three to the negative first. And then hopefully you recognize that 27 can also be raised to a three cubed. Now you can see my one-to-one -one property is, um, we can now be applied because I have a base three and I have a negative one times X is equal to a three. So therefore you can see in this case, if I was gonna take the one third raised to the negative third power, that's gonna equal 27. So therefore in this logarithm, we can say this is going to equal to a negative three. Now, when we're dealing with fractions, sometimes we have fraction in the base, but what if we were to flip flop these? What would that look, would that be a little bit different or would we apply the same prop process? Now, the cool thing is we are going to apply the same process, but in this case, the answer though is not gonna be a negative three, right? It's going to be a little bit different. Now, in this case, what I wanna do is just kind of give you a little bonus way of doing this because you could still set this up as an exponential equation. But there's another way that I want you to think about this. If we just rewrote these as base three, rather than setting this up as an exponential equation, another thing we can do is use the change of base formula. So let's go ahead and rewrite this and then using the change of base formula. And remember the change of base formula basically just says, if you have a logarithm with base A of B, then you can just rewrite that of the log of B over log of A, and again, use the same base. It could be like LN, or it could be like log base 10, it doesn't really matter. What I'm simply gonna do is I'm going to rewrite my logarithm here. I'm gonna change these up, and then I'm gonna use the change base formula. Now you can see what I can do is I can now use the power rule of these logarithms. I can bring the negative one out in front, and I can bring this three out in front, and therefore that's gonna leave me with is a negative one third as my log of threes are both gonna divide out, so therefore that's gonna be a negative one third. Now if you wanna see me evaluate logarithms with radicals, then go ahead and check out the next video I have for you here.